Uh, let's interrupt with uh, an earnings alert. CSX is out. Frank Callum's got the numbers. Frank. Well, CSX share is down about 3.83% right now after reporting a miss on EPS, three cents below estimates, also a miss on revenues. The company said it saw growth in its most profitable segment. That's merchandise. That's the transportation of automotive goods and also food products. But that was offset by declines in its intermodal business. There was a bright spot. It did set a new record for its uh, operating ratio. A lot of that due to it implementing precision schedule railroading, a growing trend in the, in the railroad and rail business. So, again, CSX shares down. 3.71% right now after the bell. Back over to you. Frank Holland, thank you. Barbara, I mean, you, I don't know if you saw the cash rate index today uh, showing another, um, another, another decline month over month and also year over year. In general, a lot of the freight data seems to be getting weaker and weaker. You look at these CSX numbers, is, is there a bigger read through to be had on the broader U.S. economy? Are there warning signs here? I think there are warning signs here. I think in CSX's case, you know, their problem was that they had two years of a magnificent turnaround, you know, where they were really trying to compensate for the loss of half their coal business in a mere eight years. They did a, an admirable job, but investors are now are saying, where's the growth? Where's the revenues? And I think it's not just them that are suffering. I think you're seeing a slowdown, you know, in, uh, in transportation, you know, across the country. We've seen that with FedEx. We've seen a number of, uh, you know, of companies. However, you saw the retail sales numbers this morning. You know, the consumer is alive and well, and that is 70 percent of our economy. So hopefully that continues to offset the weakness of manufacturing and uh, business investment, which hard to see that improving as long as we have all these trade issues. Yeah, I mean, the rail stocks had really, CSX had held up pretty well, if you yeah. consider what's been going on uh, in the general sector. A lot of the data not so great. The low for this stock back in late May, if we had that pullback, it's around 74, a little bit under 74. So at this point, we're just kind of giving back that last several weeks uh, worth of uh, worth of upside. So we'll see, you know, how it settles out. But it's, it's, it's very touchy when I think all these cyclical stocks, uh, a lot of them got beaten up a lot, like J.B. Hunt, before they reported, and they were low expectations. This one... I think you probably had to have better numbers to, to build on.